the final property that I wanted to present for these measures of uh, information in this week, for the first week, we'll have another week on these properties, is the data processing inequality. In fact, uh, this is the mother of all inequalities in information theory. Uh, most of the other, pro many of the other properties can be derived as special cases. So we already saw what data processing inequality is. Uh, let me remind you what it is. So we mentioned that any reasonable measure of distance must satisfy the data processing inequality. So what was the data processing inequality for distances? So suppose you have two distributions P and Q and you have a channel W. So when you pass this P and Q through the same channel W, this is the, so you can imagine that some, some random variable X was generated and this channel W processes that random variable to produce some output Y. So P and Q are PMF or our distributions on X and this channel W is from X to Y. The same channel W. So we said that processing data only brings the distribution closer. So only makes the uh, hypothesis testing problem harder. So we showed, uh, we claimed that this D uh, the total variation distance between W of P and W of Q is less than equal to total variation distance between P and Q. In fact, this is just triangular inequality, nothing special, but the interpretation is very nice. So let's see why uh, W of Y given X Sorry, let me just write it. Yeah, so what is this P of W? It's summation over X PX W of Y given X minus summation over X QX W of Y given X. So you can take out this common summation outside. So you get summation of x w y given x into p x minus q x. Okay, that's what this term is. And by triangular inequality, this term is less than equal to w y given x summation over x p x minus q x. So there's no dependence on y here. So this guy here sums to one and what you get is dpq okay so indeed dpq satisfies data processing inequality the total variation distance we also said that kullback leibler divergence satisfies data processing inequality this is a very nice uh, property so let's see so for kullback leibler divergence if you look at w of p and w of q what you can check now we'll just expand it and see that this data processing inequality holds. So this guy is equal to summation over y w of p of y log of w of p of y the output distribution y. and this guy here is equal to now we expand these things. So what you get is summation over y, summation over x, w y given x, p x log summation over x, p x, w y given x, summation over x, q x, w y given x. Okay. So now what we do is we imagine our log sum inequality world this is my a terms and this is my b i term and this is again a i term so by log sum inequality this guy here is less than equal to summation over y summation over x so a i a i log sum a i by sum b i is less than equal to sum of a i log a i by b i. So w y given x cancels. So you just get p x by q x. Okay, so this guy here, you can take summation over y inside, this sums to 1, it's just equal to dpq. Okay, so that's the data processing inequality for KL divergence. Just follows from log sum inequality. Okay. Uh, yeah, so 
by the way log sum inequality is a non negativity of divergence and now non negativity of divergence was used to show log sum inequality which is non negativity of divergence that's used to show data processing inequality all right and we'll show many things from data processing inequality therefore many things will follow just from non negativity of divergence all right so these two data processing inequalities for distances we showed now from it we can derive other data processing inequalities uh, which are perhaps more commonly uh, used one of them is for mutual information so to define this data processing inequality i have to define notion of a markov chain so what is a markov chain so we say that x y z these three random variables form a markov chain if x and y uh, if x and z are independent are independent given condition on given x or uh, given y in our mutual information language mutual information between x and z given uh, y is zero this is equivalent to conditional independence and we denote these such such random such independent random variable x y z by this x y z they form a markov chain this is some notation we are introducing i i borrowed this notation from the chisa kernel textbook okay similarly you can define a longer markov chain x1 x x1 to xn form a markov chain if when you condition on any one of them this right side is independent of the left side okay so in other words i of x1 to i minus 1 and x i plus 1 to n this is the notation for x i plus 1 to xn is independent of each other condition on xn okay all right so it's as if you get y from x by adding some noise and then further you add noise you get z so the data processing inequality for a markov chain is the following if x y z hold so they form a markov chain then the mutual information between x and y is more than the mutual information between x and z so somehow things which are closer have higher mutual information so as you process data the mutual information reduces along the markov chain this is equivalent to by the way by expanding mutual information in terms of entropy the conditional entropy of x given y is less than the conditional entropy of x given z so y is closer to x so the entropy remaining in x given y is smaller than entropy remaining in x given z that's what this inequality is how do you show it and what is the condition of equality uh, with equality if and only if so x is independent of z given y equality holds if z is also independent of x Uh, sorry uh, y is also independent of x given z so the reverse side also holds okay how do we prove this proof is very simple just chain rule so i of xy we we start from i of xz i of xz is less than equal to i of x y comma z because uh, this just follows because conditional mutual information the difference of these two is non negative but this guy can be expanded as i of xy plus i of xz given y but this guy is zero and that's the proof all right so uh, we'll stop here for this week in this last lecture we saw the data processing inequality we saw it for total variation distance and divergences 
but as 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 a consequence, not we didn't show it as a consequence actually, uh, but it can also be obtained as a consequence of that data processing inequality. We also show uh, we also saw that along the Markov chains, mutual information decreases. This is the more commonly known data processing inequality. It's a data processing inequality for mutual information. Uh, in the next week, I'll continue with these properties. See you next week.